I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by The Last Reese Mould joins me. Mate, thanks for giving me some of your time. Um, we just said it's been two years since our last interview. Um, a lot's gone on in that time. How have you been? Yeah, I've been good, mate, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's flown by. <clears throat> I've had a bit of a crappy two years with big fights falling off from me, and obviously it is literally nearly two years to the day. I think I boxed him on, on the 13th of February, and I'm fighting him on fighting Ahmed Gaz on the 10th of February, two years to the day, so. Yeah, I just spoke to Sean, and obviously, as a first professional defeat that it was with Lee Wood, um, I can imagine at the time, because we haven't, like I said, spoke since, I can imagine there would have been so many emotions, disappointment, perhaps, when you watch it back, realisation that there were things to work on, perhaps knowing now that there's less pressure in fights because you haven't got the O, all of these emotions, how did you deal with that night? after that defeat with Leeward? Oh yeah, definitely I was, I was upset after the fight. Uh, obviously I lost my own stuff and I ain't got that to protect no more. Not meaning to say I'm not as hungry and stuff. If anything, it's made me more hungry. Uh, and I've took a lot, loads and loads from that fight. I know they say you can get more from a win and it, it might be true, it probably is true. Uh, from a loss, sorry. And, it might, and I think it is true. Uh, I've took a lot away from that fight. Uh, and yeah, I, I were on the big stage then and I'm, I'm back on it now. You're fighting at a weight now that I know is more comfortable for yourself as well. Um, so can you look at, um, I don't want to write it off and perhaps even make an excuse for you, but can you look at the Lee Wood fight as something that it was an opportunity on a big stage that had to be taken, but perhaps we're going to see the real Reese mould in this next fight? Yeah, obviously. I, say, I never make excuses for fights. Uh, by the time... We actually fought for the British title from getting mandated to fighting for it. We were two years out. I won the English title probably four years ago. I've massively outgrown the weight. Uh, but when you're mandatory in a mandatory, when you're in a mandatory position uh, and you get ordered to fight, do you pull out or do you have another two two years getting back into a position at a new weight? We didn't have that. Uh, and maybe would have thought then once we did realise how actually hard it was getting to nine stone, we would have had to give it up and go go up a weight anyway, or maybe two, two weights. Well, you're here now. You've got another big fight ahead of you. Um, I suppose there's massive motivation for the fact that you could be two months into 2023 with two straps and in position for a really really big year, in a really really big couple of years. So I suppose the motivation is purely what you can achieve from this fight. Yeah, definitely. I'm not looking ahead of this fight and what big fight. It's a reward and it's a massive reward. Yeah, uh, but like I say, I'm not looking ahead of the fight and the things what I can go on and achieve after this. I know it's massive and I know I'm going to be top 15 world ranked and be a two times two weight English champion. Uh, but yeah, my, my sole focus is just on 10th of February. I can't support. Do you look too much into the sparring? I know sometimes, perhaps as fans and as media, people blow the sparring stuff up, like, oh, you sparred, what do you know about him, blah, blah. Obviously, sparring, sparring, fighting, fighting. Um, I suppose you probably take a little bit from it, but I, I know you probably don't take loads from a sparring session that happened, regardless of how long ago it was. Yeah, obviously, can take, if, if it's very recent or whatever like that, you can take, take bits from it. But not massive amounts. I mean, you've got egg guards on, you've got big gloves on. Some people are no good in a gym. Then you get them on the fight night and the world beaters. Uh, but yeah, you can take bits, but I'm not taking anything. I can't really remember now, to God's honest truth. I can't remember sparring Ahmed Gaz. I can remember it just being a spar and there was nothing in it where I hurt him or he had it down. There was nothing like that. I just remember it being a decent spar. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's all it is. We know you've got punch power. When I spoke to Hamid, he said, he thinks you're a one-dimensional fighter. He thinks he knows what you're going to do. I'm presuming that he means he thinks you're just going to come and try and throw big shots. Um, but what are you expecting from Hamid? And without giving too much away, what are you going to bring to the table? Like I said, I know you can punch, but it won't just be trying to throw big shots. I think if there's any fighter in there who's one-dimensional, it's him. He can come forward with loads of shots and he's got a good work rate. I think that's it. 
I've shown I can box. Look at my amateur pedigree. Look at his amateur pedigree. He did nothing as an amateur. Uh, and then looking, he's had 18 fights against no disrespect to his opponents, but against nobody. He's been able to just march forward and stuff like that, and he's not going to be able to do that. And it's saying I'm a one-dimensional fighter. Look back at the Lee Wood fight. I had to box him because Lee Wood wasn't allowing me to fight. As soon as he did, I rocked him. I had him rocked in the third round. But then his experience managed to get him through the rest of that round. And I boxed Lee Wood on my jab and stuff like that. And apparently so, I was two rounds up going into the ninth round until I got caught. That's boxing, but for him to say that, I'm just one dimension, well, I think it's, I think he's got a very delusional team around him, a new team around him, what, are not even used to him. It, how many tra trainers has he actually had in, since he's been pro? Well, I'll tell you what, I can feel that it's going to get a bit spicier as we get towards fight night. Um, you've done a head-to-head -head out there. Bit of kind of a cliche, bit of a cringy question actually, but what did you see when you looked into his eyes? Yeah, no, I think we're both very similar in the fact that we don't big ourselves up on media, whereas I think in this day and age you need to, just to get the exposure and stuff. I think we're both just fighting men and we're going to turn up and we're going to fight and we're not really talkers. Uh, we're just going to get in there and fight and best man's going to win. <laughs>